Now, when we turn on our TVs on a daily basis, we hear that the global pension outlook is really bad. We hear that the gap between how much money goes into the pension funds and how much money is required to pay out of the pension funds will rise to about $400 trillion by 2050. Now, that is absolutely scary. And the reason for that is because we're living longer and people are saving less. Now, let's look at debt. In the UK, it said that the household debt is on the rise. By 2015, the household debt had a triple to about $1.2 trillion. And it said that that rate will continue to go up at, a, at about 10% annually. And then when we come to savings, again, like in the pension situation, we know that means household savings had been on the drop continuously over the, over the past few years. And so the global outlook for personal finance is really, really bad. But then we also know that by the end of 2016, it was said that in the UK that there were 960,000 millionaires, which was about 6% rise against the previous year. So that's some good news. And I know some of you have heard of this story of a, of a man called Theodore Johnson, who as an employee of UPS, never earned anything more than $15,000. But at the end of his life, his net worth was about $70 million. Now the question is, is financial freedom by luck? Or is it a game of chance? Or is there a framework and a roadmap to becoming financially free? I believe that by teaching people how money works, they can make better financial decisions for themselves and for their families. For example, if one wants to become financially free, there are four steps really you've got to take. And the first will be to earn more money. The second will be to learn to manage the amount of money you've just earned. The third will be learn to grow your money. And the final will be learn how to protect your money. And so if I pick out one of those, say for instance, the manage your money, um, various folks use various techniques, but what I, I subscribe to is the rule of 70, 10, 10, 10, which simply means 10% of all you earn need to go into savings, ten, another 10% go into some sort of investment and 10% go into your giving and the other 70% will be spent on your necessities. If you put away 10% of every pound you earn, over time, you become financially free. And why not join us on the 17th of August, where we will be able to teach you how to actually do that, how to manage your money, how to grow your money, and how to protect your money. Myself and my friend, Apostle Steve Watson, will be training and teaching um, folks like yourselves on how to make that journey onto financial freedom. Join us.